Hi, I'm Doug Keck, and this is an EWTN Bookmark Brief. Uh, I've got Father Tim Gallagher, OMV, to talk about his book, Discernment of Spirits in Marriage, Ignatian Wisdom for Husbands and Wives, published by our friends over at Sophia Institute Press, and of course, naturally available, as are all of Father Gallagher's books through EWTN's religious catalog, EWTNRC.com, of course. Now, let's talk about this particular book, Discernment of Spirits in Marriage. We touched on it in our in our network interview, but uh, we, we want to spend some more time. Ignatian wisdom for husbands and wives. What does Ignatius have to say to married people, especially in today's world, do you think? If any husband or any wife feels, well, of course, we all do, uh, that there are difficult days in marriage and there are happier days in marriage, there are ups and downs, there are times of tension, there are times when the tension lightens and things are warmer and happier, but that there are ups and downs in living the married vocation that he or she does not always understand and often doesn't really know how to respond to, mm -hmm. all right, then that is the space that Ignatius of Loyola is addressing in this set of 14 simple, powerful, effective guidelines on how to deal with the daily up and down experience mm -hmm that we experience, of course, in any vocation, but in its unique way, in the married vocation, and then to know how to respond to this. Mm -hmm. So that's what he's offering, and that's the goal of this book, is to take those 14 principles, rules he calls, calls them, and put those in the hands very concretely of husbands and wives. Now these rules, did he apply these rules to people getting married, or are you applying these rules to that particular situation? He applied them to everyone in every vocation. Mm -hmm. But I think it's long overdue that someone specifically looked at how these apply to the unique vocation that is marriage, and as husbands and wives live together as spouses. That's, to my knowledge, that's mm -hmm. never been done before. And this book attempts to do that in a way, as I say, that is readable and accessible mm -hmm. uh, and makes sense, you know, for people. Right. What do you think in applying this now to married couples would be the greatest benefit they might find or the greatest insight they may get from applying it? You know, the book has only been out a few months, um, but uh, the nicest feedback that I've gotten thus far on it was an email from a woman who wrote, and she and her husband are both reading the book together. And she wrote and said that we are having conversations of a kind we've never had before in all the years of our marriage. What Ignatius does is to give all of us, but in this specific application, husbands and wives, a language to understand what's always been going on in these struggles and ups and downs so that now they can actually talk about it mm -hmm. uh, in a way that was never possible before. So it's going to benefit any individual husband or wife who uh, gets familiar with this teaching, how much more if both actually are right. getting to know this together so that they can begin to walk this journey together instead of kind of separately living their spiritual lives. Right. So that, that's the specific uh, gift for the married vocation, typical only in that vocation. Yeah, I was going to ask you that, whether somebody can say, well, gee, you know, I'm I'd, I'd be interested in this, but I don't think my husband would be interested at all. Uh, is it worth me going and getting the book for myself? Absolutely. Uh, partly because you matter, because the Lord loves you, because your spiritual growth is important, and partly because you are 50% of everything that happens relationally in marriage. As your 50% grows in understanding and strength, uh, it's going to bless a great deal of what happens in the marriage. Right. Now, in the discernment of spirits in marriage, that's always the, the hardest thing. How does one go about discerning spirits? So many people say, well, I want to follow God's will. I want to do what the Spirit's leading me, but how do I discern what's correct in my own life, let alone in my marriage? All right, this term discernment of spirits, uh, which is both attractive and a little mystifying for us, um, if we clarify that term, we'll get the answer to that question. By discernment of spirits, what Ignatius is talking about are the, what, what he calls spiritual consolation and spiritual desolation. Times of joy and energy and life in our prayer, our relationship with God and living our vocations, and we all have them, 
But we also all have the harder times, the desolate times, the times mm-hmm. when we, if we're honest, we don't even really want to pray or those new steps no longer appear so attractive. God doesn't feel close. These ups and downs, that's concretely what he's speaking about. We all experience them. It's every day in our spiritual lives. And that's why this teaching is so practical and down to earth. Uh, it's addressing the daily stuff, if I can say that, of the spiritual life. And that's what Ignatius means by the different spirits that we discern, these ups and downs. What is of God? What is of the evil one in that? And how do we respond? Right, and it's interesting, too, because you point out the fact that there are ups and downs, and people should realize that that doesn't mean there's something necessarily wrong in what they're doing just because you have those ups and downs in life. In fact, Ignatius would say exactly the contrary. If you don't have those then you want to take a look at that and see what's going on. It is normal that in the spiritual life there be these ups and downs. And you know, when when I teach this, and I repeat it in the book a number of times too, because it's so important just to know there's no shame in experiencing these ups and downs. Every one of us does. Read the story of a soul of Therese, for example, Mm -hmm. or any of the saints, it's there. What matters is to understand what's going on and to know how to respond to it. And that's the gift Ignatius right. gives us in these 14 guidelines or rules. Now, you've done multiple series for us. Uh, you did one recently that, that, that we haven't aired yet uh, on overcoming, uh, what, what was the title exactly, based on your earlier Spiritual book. discouragement. Right, exactly. Which, and, and you've also got this one. Let's talk a little bit about uh, this one on marriage, which uh, may not be coming out for another year or so. Uh, How did you go about working on that series with our team here? What we did, we were together to film the uh, first series that you mentioned, the Mm -hmm. one about overcoming spiritual discouragement. And what we tacked onto that was my part of what will be this series on discernment of spirits in marriage. When the series is complete, um, what we'll have is actors who will act out the roles of these this couple, Mark and Anne, whom we mm-hmm. see in the in the uh, book, and then after that experience is acted out, I'll come in and explain mm-hmm. it in the light of the existing rules. So we have taped my part, and what remains to be done now is the the staging and acting out of the actual scenarios. Right. And then it will be complete. Okay. Very good. Another book in the works. Oh, always more books. <laughs> Okay. (laughs) But I haven't yet uh, finalized which it's going to be. Okay. Just make sure you let us know and you stop by Bookmark as one of your first stops if you can. Okay. Thank you so much, Father Tim Gallagher. Always great to talk to you. Coming to us uh, from our studios in Denver. And this book is Discernment of Spirits and Marriage, Ignatian Wisdom for Husbands and Wives. Uh, available through our EWTN religious catalog, EWTNRC.com, a place for all things Catholic, all things Father Gallagher. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on this Bookmark Brief.